Jolly, I thought like uh, King Charles, I'd uh, do a little message for everybody. Uh, this, rather than being a Christmas message, is a New Year message. And um, I thought I'd mention, just like uh, Prince Charles, or no, no, the King Charles rather, um, I'd like to thank all our wonderful nursing staff for their dedication. And um, the only difference being that I think we should give them more money. Uh, of course, let's face it, Rishi Sudak says we've got no money to give to these hard-working people. And yet, think on this. Every year, the big public schools, private schools, like Eton, Charterhouse, etc., even Gordonstone, where King Charles went to school, all the top politicians went to public school, all the rich people go to public school, all the king's siblings and everything went to public schools. But I wonder if you realise that they have charitable status and um, they are actually given a sum to the tune of £700 million a year. Um, <laughs> I mean, when you think of it, it's ridiculous. You might just as well subsidise five-star hotels as to subsidise these people. But Rishi Sunak will not scrap that charitable status for Eaton and Charterhouse, Gordonstown and so on. Um, now, that could go a long way to giving nurses their rights, couldn't it, really? And when you come to think that Rishi Sunak is the richest Prime Minister this country has ever had, and his wife is also rich. Um, it's a bit rich, isn't it, really? <laughs> you know? Um, so... Why don't we, um, you know, look at all the way this country works and what an imbalance there is, is there? Not just between people like Fishing Rishi Sunak and the people that are struggling. You know, there's people, I mean, Prince, King Charles also said about he feels for the homeless people, you know. Um, <laughs> he's, he's never gone hungry in his life. For Christ's sake, I mean, how can he empathise with people that, uh, you know, Rishi Sunak also, he was serving meals at a, a food bank and he actually asked what business someone is in and the guy said, look, I'm homeless, you know, he just can't, I mean, at his state, at King Charles, their lifestyle is so remote from ours, he hasn't got a clue what it's like to go hungry or to worry about the next gas or electric bill coming in. And this country is full of abnormalities like this, anomalies, um, unfairness. Um, I don't know, I mean, <laughs> King Charles, uh, also for his coronation, will have the Archbishop of Canterbury, supposedly a pious religious man, uh, uh, his coronation. Now, I wonder if you know that the Archbishop of Canterbury, in his previous life, was an oil millionaire. He was raping the earth for oil, and that's where he made all, and he is a billionaire. Make no mistake that. And yet he, in his addresses, also talks about how he feels sorry for the poor people, the people that are struggling. Well, give some of your money to them then. Uh, you know, I mean, uh, I just despair. And this is what I'd like to say to the new year, when it comes around long, which is... Uh, coming soon, it'll be here. Why can't we level things up a bit? Or level across, not levelling up like I think it was Doris 
Johnson originally said that, levelling up. What does that mean? No, we want to level across so that everybody gets a fair slice of the cake. Now, the whole system in this country is the rich and the poor, extremes. The super rich are the very poor. And we're no better now in the 21st century than we were in Dickens' times. You've still got people going to food banks, which is the equivalent of Dickens' soup kitchens. People are being handed out. Nobody should have charity. It should come from the country, from our own Prime Minister, from our own government. And until we get a government like that, you might as well not even bother voting. Because uh, all the time, and, and when people all slavishly sit down and listen to the King's speech, what they're doing is doffing their hat and saying, yes sir, yes sir, we'll do whatever you say sir. I'm sorry, but I won't have that kind of country. Let's all have a slice of the cake, okay? Right, Happy New Year to you all.